If I loosen that nut, I can move the drill press metallic table to put it vertically. With the help of the square, I make sure it is at 90 degrees with the drill press base. This is one pusher I made to use with my table saw. It has that small strip in the back. And that strip is at 90 degrees with the sides of the pusher. Then, if I hang it like this in the drill press table, the edge is perfectly vertical. Now, if I move the metallic table and I put my workpiece there, I can drill in the head. I already have some metal collar death stops, like this you can see around the drill bit. But when I try to drill that workpiece, it bumps, so I cannot use it. I could adjust the drill press depth stop, but it is not easy to adjust, so I will drill this long wooden rod. I have to drill in several stages. I drill until the drill chuck bumps into the pusher. I lift the wooden rod and I keep drilling. As you can see, it is not easy to hold the wooden rod in place. So I know I have to drill 1.5 cm deep holes and the drill bit is 6.5 cm from the chuck so I must cut the wooden rod 5 cm long and here I have the 5 cm long wooden sleeve so I put that wooden sleeve around the drill bit I put there the guide I put my workpiece and I drill. I can also drill that workpiece, because the drill bit depth stop doesn't bump into it. This wooden drill bit depth stop works great, even better than the metal collar depth stop. So I will probably make two more, one to use with an 8mm bit and another one to use with a 10mm bit. Thanks for watching, you can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.